Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica and today's video is a get ready with me slash current favorites video. So I wanted to walk you through some of the new things in my closet that I've been loving lately and kind of just a mixture of different things. But one of the things I wanted to share is some makeup so I thought what better way to start this video than with a fresh bare face. I also want to say hello to all of my new subscribers. I am so happy to have you all here. We recently reached 5,000 subscribers on my channel which is really amazing actually and I actually wanted to do a giveaway when I reached 5,000 so that's my plan. I will have giveaway details for you very soon so I just wanted to do something to say thank you to all of you who have subscribed. So anyways, I wanted to start getting ready now so that I stop looking like a thumb. So today I'm going to be using the makeup that I've actually been using for the past several weeks and I really like it. It's from Merit Beauty and it all comes in this really cute little um, Thai makeup bag which I'm just obsessed with this. I've been using it as a purse from time to time as well. And they are a kind of minimalist makeup brand which as you know, I'm all about that. I wear really kind of simple makeup day to day. I just have like a few things that I do every day. So I really love the idea of a minimalist makeup brand, a kind of less is more approach to makeup. I'm all about that. Um, but I do like to add a little something. It's part of my like daily routine to do a little makeup in the morning. I think it helps me feel more productive and kind of put together. And also it's just really fun. Just how I like to do my skincare, it's kind of a moment of like self-care that I really enjoy. So I'm going to show you how I'm using the Merit products. So it comes in this really cute little tie bag. It's like brown mustardy corduroy, which I just love this. And it holds quite a bit too. So I have all my products in here. So the first product that I want to mention is the Minimalist perfecting complexion stick which is kind of a concealer and foundation in one so it's like a soft creamy stick and all of their products are vegan too which is really nice and i quite like using a cream concealer when i do because it kind of i don't know it just feels like it goes on more easily and keeps my skin feeling hydrated this one is actually a little dark for me um, I ordered the wrong shade, <laughs> but I'm going to keep this because it's actually going to be a really good color for me in the summer when I'm much more tan than this. And I'm actually having horrible breakouts at the moment, so I have pretty much stopped using any kind of like anything that covers my face. I've even cut down on my skincare a lot. My skin actually broke out a lot after I went off the pill, so that's what I'm dealing with right now. It's only temporary, but I am trying to kind of aid the process of clearing my skin at the moment, so I'm just keeping it really clean and clear, which seems to be working. Just for reference, this is the shade Sienna. I think that my shade right now is actually one or two lighter than this though. The next product that I want to mention is actually my favorite one that they do. It is the Brow 1980 Volumizing Pomade, and it comes in this really cute gold um, case and this is a tinted brow gel. I have the shade black brown which is a perfect match for me. Most days recently I've just been reaching for a tinted brow gel because I don't really want to like fill in my brows. They are like a bit thin for my liking so I like to just make them a little bit darker but I do like to just kind of leave their natural shape and just kind of set them in place with a brow gel. So this is really nice for that and this is usually the most important step of my very minimal makeup routine. If I don't do anything else I'll still always do my brows just to give my face a little more definition. I feel like this is makeup for people who don't really know how to do makeup very well but still want to wear it and look nice. Next up is the Clean Lash Lengthening Mascara which comes in this lovely little tube here. I really love the designs of all of their products. Like they're so sleek and minimal. So I think this mascara is really great for every day because it doesn't smudge and it really does lengthen without being like too dramatic and I actually don't curl my eyelashes. My eyelashes are long but they are pretty straight so I usually just try to curl them a bit with a mascara because I don't own a lash curler. And there we go, very natural looking mascara. 
The next product is the Day Glow Balmy Highlighter, which is very nice. I have the shade Bounce, which is the darker of the two, and it looks like that. Didn't really use highlighter that much before, but after using this one, I was like, oh, I get it. Let's put a little bit on my cheeks and brow bone. It has a really nice sheen to it, but it's not like sparkly, which I really don't like. And it's very moisturizing too. I thought this was kind of cool. It actually has olive oil in it, which is very interesting. Next up is the Flesh Balm Cheek Color, which I really love this product because it has the coolest little jar. It's just a very like creamy texture and it's pretty like translucent, so it's a really nice like light natural kind of wash of color i have the color raspberry beret which is this lovely like deep purpley color and yeah looks super natural i mean i'm not like great with the placement of it but i feel like something that's this kind of movable and workable is pretty hard to mess up <laughs> and i also like to add a little bit of this onto my uh eyelids just to give it a really light wash of color and I love using products in more than one way and I feel like it kind of just makes your face look more cohesive you know with all the similar colors and to finish off the look we have the shade slick tinted lip oil I have mine in the shade Marrakesh which is just so beautiful I love this like kind of terracotta -y color I think it's really nice for my skin tone. So it feels quite sheer going on. I put like two layers on and um, you can see that it's like quite pigmented actually. So yeah, and it's just really hydrating too and it's just like a lip gloss. So it's pretty easy to apply. And yeah, just love this color a lot. And so that is all for my really simple minimal makeup look using Merit. I'll link everything in the description box if you're interested and I believe that these makeup bags are available with every first purchase so that's pretty cool too. So that is all for that and now I'm going to move into the rest of my current favorites. So the first thing I wanted to mention is underwear from a brand called Jonesy. They're made in the USA and they're really really soft and stretchy and comfortable and they're pretty size inclusive too. I would say they range from a size 25 to 44 waist. So they have like high waisted undies, they have a high cut thong, um, a French cut thong and a bikini cut. They do really cute colors too, very like bright pastel colors. So these are in the shade Wisteria and I have another one in the shade Seafoam in the same style. I think this is a really comfortable style and also very flattering too. And then I have a matching bralette too. So they also do a few different styles of bralettes. This is the sporty bralette in the shade Seafoam as well. It is so comfortable. I was wearing it all day yesterday and it has these nice like thick adjustable straps. I find this cut style of a bralette to be quite comfortable and supportive for me too, although I'm part of the IBTC. <laughs> so I've shared quite a few sustainable underwear brands on my channel, so I always like to introduce you all to new ones when I come across them. The next thing I want to mention is a really soft t-shirt. This is a crew neck t-shirt from a brand called Alternative, but I really love this t-shirt because it's really thin and very soft. I've been wearing it a ton lately and it's just a great like wardrobe basic and it's in this really light kind of heathered gray color. Um, the only thing with this is I feel like the sizing runs a bit small. So I usually wear like a small in most brands and this is actually a size large and it fits me pretty comfortably. So that's one thing to keep in mind but I know that this is a brand I've seen a lot in stores so like Nordstrom's and Nordstrom Rack has them and probably some other department stores too. So I know that's not always the case with sustainable brands so I thought I would mention that for anyone who's in the market for a very nice wardrobe staple. The next thing that I want to mention is a dress. So this is from Tradlands. It is the Nico dress. 
and that is like the kind of oversized t-shirt style dress that they do it's one of their best-selling pieces and they come out with them every season in like a couple of new colors and patterns too i went with a size medium which is what i usually get in tradlands and i have to say it fits pretty true to size although it is an oversized fit so you know i could have sized down to a small easily but it would still have that pretty oversized silhouette but it has pockets and a really voluminous skirt that i love and i'm just a huge fan of this same like purple color that i showed you earlier as you can tell i'm really enjoying this color at the moment and i really believe that this is one of those colors that just looks good on a lot of different skin tones um but they also do this in like more jewel tone colors like a uh, kind of royal blue i just think that this is such a great piece to have for summer when it's super hot outside and you kind of don't want to wear anything that's like touching or too tight fitting that's where this comes in handy just such an easy piece it's practically like lounge wear too because it's so loose and comfortable and yeah i've been really enjoying this and adding a little bit more color into my wardrobe as you can tell i'm wearing yellow here i have some purple now so this is like the most color i've had in my wardrobe in a while which is not saying much but i'm happy to be introducing some more into my wardrobe recently so the next thing i want to talk about is a pair of light wash blue jeans these are the levi ribcage jeans which i'm a big fan of i have reviewed the um dark washed black version of these jeans in another in another video which i'll link on the screen if you're interested but i really love that particular style of um, levi's because they are very high-waisted they're actually their most high-waisted style that they do so i typically wear either a levi rib cage or a levi wedgie jean and the difference for that is the cut of the leg they're both a straight leg style but the wedgie jeans are much more slim fitting whereas these are a true straight leg pant they're wider throughout the whole leg and one thing with levi's is that i find that the sizing is pretty inconsistent so it's best to try them on in person if you can so the other pair that i have the washed black pair i have a size 27 and then these i ordered a size 26 because i wanted them to be uh, more like a tighter fit but these actually fit exactly the same as my 27 in the washed black so these run a bit large i would say if you're looking for a much tighter fit in the seat then definitely consider sizing down or just like i said try them on in person if you can but i love wearing a light wash jean during the spring and summer it just kind of lightens up all of my outfits and so that's kind of why i wanted to get a light wash pair in this um straight leg style in the levi ribcage style so yeah i've been wearing these like multiple times throughout the week they've kind of become my favorite pair of jeans to reach for every day lately so the next thing i want to mention is a handbag this is the shoulder bag from freha new york i hope that's how you pronounce it i'll leave it linked in the description box if you're interested it is made of vegan leather and this is the color latte they also do a darker brown color and black but I didn't have any accessories in this color and I think it's a really versatile color. It looks great with like, you know, black, it looks great with navies and whites and off-whites. So that's kind of my reasoning behind getting this color. And it is an accordion style bag, so it has two different sections on the inside and it holds quite a bit. And then here's what it looks like inside. I have another strap in here. So two main sections and then it has a zip pocket in the middle. And here it is with the crossbody strap on it. It is adjustable too. I have quite a few crossbody bags that I wear solely as that. So I have actually just been wearing this as a shoulder bag mostly. But I think it looks pretty cool if you have both of the straps on there too. And yeah, I just really love the shape of this bag. It's a really nice kind of medium sized bag for me because a lot of mine are either like tote size or much smaller. So this one is a really great everyday bag. And Freya is actually 
Orphrasia has actually given me a discount code for their website for 10% off, so I'll leave that linked in the description box. I also have a discount code for Treadland, so be sure to check that out there. And the next thing I want to talk about is actually a pair of shoes. So these are the Maya clogs from Sandgrens. If you watch my videos, you know that I have another pair of clogs from this brand. And I was such a fan of that style that I decided to add these to my wardrobe as well, which are very similar, but my other ones are in black and these are in a lovely nude vegetable tan leather color. The nice thing about these is that because the base of the shoe is solid wood and because it has quite a bit of a platform, it actually feels like much smaller of a heel than it is. So they're really, really comfortable to wear. They feel very sturdy. They're non-slip, which is good. I went with my usual European size 40 and they fit perfectly. And I also love that this leather is going to get softer over time and kind of mold to the shape of my feet. Um, so these will just get more and more comfortable over time, although I already feel like they are extremely comfortable too. So here are the clogs that I got last year from Sandgren's. These are the Dublin style, and I decided to get them in the classic black vegetable tan leather. And then these are the Maya. So they actually do one that's slightly smaller of a heel than this, and that is, I believe it's called the Tokyo. I'll link all of these um, down below if you're interested. And the Maya is the highest clog that they do. So yeah, just like a really small difference, but I feel like it really changes up the look of an outfit with a slightly higher heel. And of course, I love having this brown leather option too. And the last thing I wanted to mention is actually more for closet organization. And I recently shared it on my Instagram stories and I got a lot of questions about them. So I thought I would include them in this video because I think they're great. So I recently switched over all of my hangers to these like velvet non-slip hangers. And honestly, I don't know why I didn't do this sooner. I had a mix before of like white metal and wood hangers and I really like the wood hangers but they just are too thick and take up too much space in my closet and I have a smaller closet so I wanted a hanger that's more like space saving so these I actually ordered on Amazon and these like you can get them from so many different brands and they pretty much all look the same so it's easy to you know, add more or replace them if you need to. And then the other thing that I got for these hangers are these little black velvet clips. These are for pants and skirts and things, and they are also in the black velvet, so they match. And so you can get as many or as few as you need to, and then you can convert your regular hangers into pant hangers. So I like this option because you can kind of decide how many shirt hangers and how many pant hangers you need and none of them go to waste or just sit there unused. And here's one of the packs of the clips. This was a pack of, I believe, 20. And they're pretty good quality too. So I thought that was a really kind of handy thing to have for wardrobe organization. So that is all for this video. I really hope you enjoyed my current favorites and I'll have everything linked in the description box of this video if you're interested in anything I mentioned today. Let me know what you think of my Merit makeup look and be sure to keep an eye out for my 5K giveaway information. I hope to post that in the next week or two. You can check on the community page on my channel. If you like this video, it would be super helpful for me if you give it a thumbs up so that YouTube puts it in front of more people and you can subscribe to my channel for more and make sure you hit that bell icon for notifications when I upload new videos every single week. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.